No, no, you're fully dilated. You're good. <laughs> you did it. Oh, okay. All right, do you want to try? All right, next contraction. Let's get your legs up. Hold your own legs back, because that'll give you the leverage to push. Hold your legs back. Be oh, be yeah. Now. Yeah, all right. That's what I want you to do. I want you to take a big breath in. Hold your leg here, uh, Jake. Right like that. Hold your legs back. Don't push them. Pull them back. Okay, okay take a big breath in. And push. Don't let, it, don't let the air go. Right, take go a big slow, breath big in. Down. Hold it in. Hold it in. Curl up and push. The nurse helped me through it a lot. I had to push and then just take a super quick breath and then push again just to try to push him out, you know, quicker. Take a big deep breath in and hold it like you're underwater. Don't let any air escape out of your mouth or nose, okay? okay? That'll just give you the leverage and the force to push down into your bottom. Okay. Like about 10 seconds would be good. All right. All right, let's get your legs up so you're ready. Hold her foot like this so it gives her some <gasps> Big breath in. Hold it in, curl up, chin to chest. Push, 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 push. Shove, shove, shove. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I can see the baby's head right there. <sighs> okay, it's a contraction over. Yep. It's doing great. At one point, I thought the nurse might be delivering the baby because <laughs> it just happened so quickly. Dr. Del Pret, she ruptured and she's fully dilated. And we're pushing, and I see Caput. Okay. She's coming. I just got paged. Natalie's fully dilated and she's pushing and um, they can see a little bit of the head so she's starting to crown. And um, we're just gonna go in and see how she's progressing. And hold it in. Hi, I'm back. Up. Keep going, come on, push, 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 push. More than that, more than that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> nice. She told okay. you there was a little bit of meconium? Yeah. When you yeah, I can call from okay. here. So what'll happen is when the baby's first born, I can't no, give you the baby. The baby gets checked out, and then if everything's fine, then it comes back to you. She said it had slight meconium, which um, means that the baby's under some sort of stress. I was kind of bummed out because I really wanted to experience that moment when they put the baby right on your chest right after the baby's born. So meconium, is that something to worry about? Basically, uh, the baby's poop, okay, yeah. that's in the fluid. Right. And then they can sometimes breathe it into their lungs, and if they did that, they can, it can cause a pneumonia. So that's, um, right. And that's why I have to do extra precautions. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Grab your knees. Deep breath. Okay, shove, 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 shove. Keep going, keep going. More than that, more than that. The pushing, it took me a few tries to get the hang of it, because they, like, we practiced it in our Lamaze class, but they said that you won't be able to do it until you're actually doing it, which is true, because you just, you know, it's like something you haven't experienced. Good job. Yeah, you better. You better get cracking, ladies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Curl up and push. Come on, more, 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 more. Keep going, keep going. Okay, blow. <laughs> that's it. Okay, that's it. out. <laughs> Can I push more? Not yet. There's a quarter of the babies. Yeah. Okay, big breath in. We're gonna push for the shoulders and push. Keep going, keep going. You're almost there, you're almost there. Open your eyes. <laughs> See the baby. That, oh, nice. It's a boy. Okay. okay. Say hi to mommy. He's making noise already. Six, seven, eight, eight. Awesome. You did great.